All right, we're about to change the oil on the first uh, oil change on the Go Devil 40 Vanguard EFI. And uh, the first 15 hours uh, after that, you should change out that, that break-in oil. So I've got a new filter and I've got new oil to fill that right here to protect everything from getting messy. I grabbed an old Gatorade bottle and cut the bottom off. So we'll change out the filter and then I'll fill it back up with the new oil. And we'll have our first, our first service done on the 40 horsepower Vanguard as far as the oil changes go. All right, so I'm about to change out the oil. I got the ratchet on there, which is a, a 3 8 inch ratchet. I got me a Gatorade bottle taped up underneath, so that way when it starts to come out, I can catch it into that. It'll go right down into my bucket here. I won't have any kind of mess. I got me a rag also, um, which is gonna be handy right here, wrapped around, laying around behind just so I don't get oil on the rig. And uh, I've got my fuel filter. I got that already hand light loosened already. Um, and I've got the replacement filter Let's see right here. That's uh, Briggs and Stratton. Replacement filter right there to go back on. All right, so I'm gonna about to go ahead and loosen this up, start draining out the oil. Let's move in a little bit closer. How about that? Nice and close. Start loosening that up. I'll have this bottle ready to tilt so if it starts to shoot out a little bit heavy, we'll be able to catch it. All right, do the rest by hand just to be on the safe side. It's coming out now. There it goes. And we're draining. No mess. Completely clean. Tiny bit of oil on my hand. Or on my fingers. And, uh, all right. And then now we're at the filter. Take that off. Some oil coming out with that. Just take that right off into the rag, just like that. And I caught all that with the rag, so we're nice and clean. We put the new oil filter on. We're gonna put a little coat of oil around the edge of the gasket and put a little bit of the oil down inside the filter before we put that back on. All right, once that's pretty much drained, I'm gonna go ahead and put the plug back in for the oil drain plug. Go ahead and get that back in. And tighten. We're going to pull our bottle away. Got our rags down here. Go ahead and clean up a little bit. Whatever we got on the unit. Any messes. Which we don't really have a mess because we prepared first. Alright. Then get my ratchet back out and tighten that back nice and tight right there clean that up looks good got the oil done go ahead and pull this rag out Get wipe all up in here wherever we got some oil
Okay. Got all that cleaned up. And we're gonna go ahead and get the new oil out and I'll show you do that part. All right, I got the new filter. Just gonna dab a little bit of oil in it out. Put a little bit of oil on top. I can dab with my finger, cover that gasket. Okay, get that oil down there inside. Get it coated. And spin it back on. No. Uh huh. And then grab our filter tightener, slip that on. Tighten this thing on down. No. Wipe it down after we're done. We've changed the filter and drained the oil. Now we're gonna put in the new oil. So we're gonna put the oil in right here. Fill it up, takes two and a half quarts. Then we're gonna check it with a dipstick until we know we got it. We leveled the motor out. So that way we know we got a full two and a half quarts when we're done. After that, we're gonna crank up the engine, let it run for about five or 10 minutes. Let that oil get cycled through the motor before I take it out the next time. All right, so I just changed out the oil, got the filter back on, the drain plug back in and put two and a half quarts of new oil in it. And Jacob's gonna help me crank it up so we can listen to it test run.